Hello, you are welcome back to the Sarah Hub. Michelle Tutu, Michelle Gadani, and Tiffany McKenna. Today, we'll be talking about gaseous exchange. Okay, gaseous exchange it is the process by which respiratory gases are exchanged are passed across the respiratory surface, and the respiratory gases are carbon four oxide and oxygen. Then, have the significance of gaseous exchange. One, it promotes oxygen intake for respiration. Two, it facilitates carbon four oxide removal from the body. Tiffany will then take it to the gaseous exchange in animals. Plants. We have two main respiratory gases, that is the carbon four oxide and oxygen. Okay, in plants, we are told during daytime, plants take in carbon four oxide and at night, they take in oxygen. So, um, carbon four oxide is usually used for photosynthesis and oxygen is used for respiration in plants. So photosynthesis takes place during the day in plants and respiration takes place at night in plants. We go on to the structure and functioning of the stomata. Stomata, these are the tiny openings of a leaf. They are found on the upper side and the lower side of a leaf. In our stomata, it contains various guard cells which are shaped in form of a bean. As you can see, these have been shaped so. As you can see, these have been shaped so they are known as the guard cells. This is the epidermal cell. This is the nucleus. This is the nucleus. This is a closed stomach. Okay, the purpose of a stoma in the plant in the plant it's it allows gaseous exchange to take place and the guard cells, it controls the opening and closing of the stomata. Then we go on to the property of the guard cells. The guard cells are usually joined together. As you can see here, they're usually joined together at the end. And also, then they have been shaped then they contain chloroplast, hence for photosynthesis to be able to take place. 
Now I'll take it on to my colleague Michelle Toto. There are three types of mechanism. The first mechanism, it is the uh, photosynthetic theory. The second one is the conversion of sugar to starch theory. The third one is the uh, potassium ion theory. We've come to the end of our discussion today here on Science Hub. I have been Tiffany McKenna, Michelle Gadomi, Michelle Tutu. Keep it Elimo TV where we watch and learn. Mm -hmm.